Out of room. Right. It looked like Cam early on in practice kind of struggling a little bit with his timing. Yes. How nice to see him at least end on a good well, note. Uh, that's a big part of it, Joe, is he's working that timing back. And, you know, he is a little bit rusty, so he's got to build himself up. And, and early on, you see it, but as practice won, you can see his footwork getting in sync with his hips and getting in sync with his shoulders. And that's the good thing about it. That, that means it's coming along. So we're, we're excited about it. You know, we're, we'll talk about whether we're going to increase the reps tomorrow or not. But, uh, you know, his throws were pretty good at, uh, as we finished the practice, so that was always good to see. It looked too like maybe the first time he really uncorked one yes. in the first two nights. Yes, it really did. It looked really good, too. And, uh, you know, we'll see how he feels. And uh, so far, everything's been good. He's doing exactly what he needs to. And, you know, RV staying on top of it. Ron, I noticed uh, Tyler Larson filling in with the lion's share of oh, reps when Khalil was getting expelled. Is, is Gino all right, or is Tyler oh, yeah. just Oh, yeah. I mean, it's all part of it. We're working, you know, we're working the whole group in. Remember, Gino's coming off of the knee surgery as well. So, you know, and, and, and Ryan coming off the shoulder. So that means Tyler's going to get a lot more reps right now. And, you know, if both those guys get stronger and healthier, you know, we'll increase their workload as well. So Gina's still limited? Oh, yes, still. I mean, again, he's doing, his, he's doing what he can, uh, what we want him to do, and he's been good. Confidence and also in there. Tyler. I'm sorry? Confidence oh, we got very, 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 uh, very much confidence in him and in Gina, for that matter. You know, they, they both played a lot last year and both showed that they're, they're very capable veterans in this league, so we're excited about the group that we have as far as the center guard combination positions. Seems like Vernon's also getting some, some first Yeah, Vernon's done a real nice job, and, and again, part of it, too, is we're bringing, you know, we're going to bring Star along slowly as well. You know, Star will take the reps that we want him to. We'll, you know, we'll work him in gradually. But uh, in the meantime, it's been really good for Vern because he's got an awful lot of reps with the ones on the twos. Ron, you had a lot of good things to say about Ben Bolware when you brought him aboard. Now that you've been through a little bit of off-season time with him and early on here in camp, as you kind of maintained your initial thoughts with him. Well, he's, he's been annoying to me just like he has been to us. Uh, it's one of those things that, that, that you love to see. You love to see that this young man wants to be part of it. He works very hard. Um, he, he's, he's shown some explosiveness already. Uh, our interest will be when we put the pads on, you know, see exactly what we have with this young man. Uh, he's a very smart football player, so we're very pleased with his progress. You know, and, and, and he is one of those guys that's constantly trying to learn, uh, and that's huge. That's big. Ron, are you already noticing more speed out here? Yes, yes, and it was a concerted effort. You know, as, as we were going through, uh, you know, through, through OTAs and mini camps, that we brought in certain types of players, um, and, and, and I'm really pleased with it. Very pleased with what we're doing on the defensive side. It's one of the things that Coach Wilkes has emphasized with his guys, and that's playing as fast as they can. You know, I don't know if you noticed, but when we do some of the walkthrough drills, the, the tempo is a little bit faster than it normally has been. Um, and then you know, we've got some speed. You know, again, we, it, was, it was a concerted effort when we went through free agency in the draft and feel pretty confident with the guys that we've got. How does the speed of guys like Christian and Chris and open up things for Cam? Well, what, what, again, what it'll do is, is, is you'll see the safety start to have, to have to loosen up a little bit more, and it'll open things up underneath. And, and again, it'll also help you in the running game. You know, teams won't be able to load a box on you if, if they have to worry or be concerned about the speed or the quickness. So, you know, it's important that we put speed out on the field. You know, we've always had that. We had that with Teddy again. You know, and, and, and now we have a couple of young guys that we're going to rely on to do that as well. Uh, Demir Bird's a young man that's really flashed very nicely, and uh, you know we'll see how that that works as well. Ron, Captain Talk about what it means. That it was good to see that Kurt Coleman can finally be a little bit more of himself on the field. There's not so much pressure on him to, to do everything. Is that accurate, or you seen Kurt, Kurt relax a little bit? Um, <laughs> it's funny that Captain would say something like that. It's a little <laughs> deep. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I think Kurt uh, really is uh, is himself, and, and, and that's one of the things that, you know, bringing another veteran guy in, a guy that communicates well, that helps. It really does. You know, and, and, and again, looking forward to seeing Captain back on the field because part of that will be what he does as well, and, and that will help Kurt even more. Um, so I, I am excited about, you know, Kurt getting the opportunity to play the way he had in the past. Um, he's a very dynamic player when he gets the opportunity. He showed that to us a couple of years ago. Cat Wallace talked about the 2013 secondary he was a part of, and there was a lot of flux that year with people going in and out till you finally settled on a group. How do you feel about the stability of what you have coming in here compared to the last few years? Well, I feel pretty good about it. I really do. Again, you know, we're, we're, we're still trying to work somebody else in, and, and that's Mike Adams. You know, and, and, and the plus is we've got a guy like Captain back at the nickel position. He was a guy that we tried to replace the last four years. You know, that productivity he had those two years. He was our nickel. It was pretty outstanding to have him back, and, and hopefully we can we can. You know, get that type of productivity again for the next position. We're pretty excited. What have you seen so far from Mike Adams? Uh, a, a very crafty veteran guy. He understands movement back there in terms of different looks. You know, walking up and, and into the line, and, and and you know, and then knowing he's got to bail out or dropping from depth stuff like that. And, and those are things that you know, as as a defense is growing, uh, you know, you got to get used to. It. It's got to become part of what you do. 
Talk about what it means to have players like Peppers and Captain Former Panthers back with the team again. Well, I think with the young group that we have, I think it's outstanding. You know, it's, it's a little bit of what we were trying to recapture, you know, a couple years ago that we had with the veteran leadership that we had on the defensive side. You know, we had a Dwan Edwards and a Jared Allen, you know, up, up, up in our, in our uh, defensive lineman. You know, we, we had a, a Charles Tillman, you know, and a Roman Harper in our, in our defensive back. And, and that's one thing that we missed last year was that, that steady veteran hand. So it's good to have some veterans around to help out. What have you seen from the Bradbury so far, Ron? Oh, seen seen a guy that's you know on the verge. I think to becoming a very productive player for us. You know, he's, he's had a couple of really good days today. He's, he's put himself around the ball an awful lot. Um, and again, I know it's early, and we're not in pads, and you know, hopefully we can sustain that and keep that going. It's one thing I told the players about is you know, there's a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of energy right now, but the key is we can we sustain it, and how long can we sustain it? Coming into the league together, do you think him and uh, Worley just feed off of each other? Yes, most certainly. I think there's they're, they're a really good team that works well together. And I think again, as those guys continue to communicate and, and work, they're going to grow together as, as, as a team, and, and hopefully we can keep that team around here for a while. First couple days with Marty back, what's that been like? Um, it, it, it's, it's been good, you know, he, he, he's got a little different style, you know, and, and so, you know, listening to him and talking with him after each, each workout or each, each film session has been, has been a, a, different, a different approach, and uh, it's been interesting. Yeah, different how? Well, I, th I think here's a guy that's coming from the outside uh, that did look at us, did watch us an awful lot, um, and so he's got a different, different opinion, you know, differences uh, in terms of guys that, you know, that, that, that he sees something and he'll ask, he'll ask me a question about it and I'll tell him, hey, you know, this, that, the other thing, you know, it's something that he hadn't seen or he'll stick, he'll, 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 give, he'll give me his two cents for sure. What has Matt's said about uh, Matt Cleo so far? He's, uh, so far he's feeling that Matt's working himself back into shape. You know, one thing we can't forget is the guy didn't play for almost an entire year last year, so he's, he's working himself back into it. Um, and I will say this, we talked about it too, was, was the humidity out here. It's a little bit different than what he's, what he's used to. So uh, he's, he's doing a good job right now. He's getting his feet back under him. Um, you know, and, and he's got a tough task because every day he's going against Mario. And you know, we, we all know how explosive Mario is off the ball. Uh, Amini getting some work at left tackle. Yes. That's just to increase his versatility. Or? Absolutely increase his versatility, but also you know, to make sure we have that depth that, that, that we're looking for. You know, Amini's a veteran. He played it for us a, a couple of snaps you know, in the past, a few snaps in the past, um, but he also played it in, in college. So he's a guy that could also help him be that uh, that fourth tackle that we're looking for. Coach, how are you feeling with Taylor Bottom playing with uh, that right tackle spot with Daryl Williams? I think it, it's good because you know the one thing about Taylor is he's a very physical football player. You know, predominantly teams run to their right, and uh, so you want to you know your right tackle is usually your most physical guy. And, uh, you know, with, with Darryl, he's a very physical run blocker. Taylor's a very physical run blocker. And we feel pretty good about two young guys that are learning and growing. How far away do you think Captain is? He, he said he thought he could practice. He keeps right? telling me he's going to practice, and I keep waiting. So who knows with him? I mean, you know, he's one of them savvy vets. Still talking, though. Huh? He's still talking. He he's probably is, somehow. He's not young. He's not young. Oh, he's not young. Believe me, he's not. Um, no, he, he should he, very soon. I mean, you know, this was a precautionary thing the last couple of days, and we'll see uh, we'll see how it comes out. Thanks, John. Thanks.